Two years ago, I quit social media. I deleted Instagram, I deleted Snapchat, I deleted Twitter, every app for my phone. I thought I actually quit social media, but <laughs> along the way, I actually realized that I actually didn't quit social media. I posted this video of seven months update of um, me quitting social media and a lot of people said yeah but YouTube is still a social media, YouTube is a social media, you didn't quit social media and I have to say partly they are true. To me my definition of social media was a place where I could actually keep up to date with my friends, keep up to date with my family, share my week, things like that. But I realized that actually LinkedIn is also a social media and I didn't quit that and it actually helped me get a new job and also YouTube. For me, as I said, YouTube is not really, was not really like a social media and I explained it a lot of times it was a place where I could just share my emotions, I could just share how I feel, share knowledge, share a lot of things. And a lot of times friends and family were just not there on that social media. They're simply not there. So uh, there's no way for me to keep updated to what they're doing, have a little bit of that FOMO feeling, etc. I did realize later on that I actually got addicted to YouTube. Um, so I started, yeah, I deleted social media, but then after a while I realized that that hour, hour something that I was not on social media, I was actually spending it on YouTube, watching videos from people in New York, people in, I don't know, going on a hike in, in Europe Alps. Uh, I spent watching these strangers and having this paranormal relationship of people with people that I barely knew. I didn't ever spoke to them and I was just interested in seeing what they were up to week after week. Like I was following um, this guy Ryan Toomey. He posts like every second day vlogs of himself in his van. I follow this guy Trent the Traveler. He also posted like cinematic tra van travel videos. I also follow the Bernardo Bacalao. Uh, also, but here in Europe, van videos, and I realized that I was actually just still following these people and still engaging and still spending at least one hour on, on, on YouTube just watching people. So, in the end, I still didn't really quit social media, if you could put it in one way. I actually got addicted to YouTube and my excuse was that I'm doing research. But I was not really doing research. I didn't have a van. I was just feeling like I was not where I wanted to be because I was seeing these people. I was seeing that people were quitting their jobs and doing what they loved and I was not there myself. I saw a lot of things that perhaps were not good for my mental health and in the end led me partly to a burnout of that feeling of not feeling where I want to be, not feeling where I belong and not doing what I love. So in the end, I became addicted to YouTube. <laughs> and it took me two years to realize that I was addicted to YouTube. And you know, like they say that you are not, <laughs> you're not an addict because you can quit anytime. Yeah, of course, there were like those times where I could just not go on the app for quite some time or do things, not watch. In the end, I was always listening to music and saving videos to my watch later, to watch later. And then in the end, I would still watch the videos that I wanted to watch. And it's not that I was just on the subscription um, following a few. I was following quite a little bit of people. And I became addicted to YouTube and there was not really much I could do. And I just thought that making a video and telling that, <clears throat> and telling that, yeah, I quit social media two years ago, but I actually replaced it with YouTube and I started doing more things. And yeah, 
I really didn't feel like I was entertained with Instagram and I think that's what I was referring to when I quit social media. I didn't have Instagram. Okay, now I downloaded it because I'm opening my own company and uh, I think that's a way to reach people and I'm gonna be posting their cinematic content and stuff like that where I can, I feel like I can teach more and not teach but share more of uh, like self-improvement videos and in a cinematic way and I also have another social media, I even have two now where I'm posting the shorts that I'm posting here from episodes that I'm doing interviewing other content creators but yeah on the topic of uh, quitting social media and becoming addicted to YouTube I feel like a lot of times we say things and we want to believe them ourselves but then in the end we're not there like we're not per se I feel like I stuck to my word of do your social media and a lot of people ask me yeah it's the best decision ever and for me I felt like watching a 10 minute video sometimes even replaced Netflix sometimes even replace other type of content and it was more like relaxed feeling feeling than actually going and scrolling on YouTube and now I'm here in a farm um, of my sister-in-law the sister of my wife and it's actually yeah I need to get more out I, I need to get more into nature into places where I'm not with my phone I'm not with a laptop I'm not able to reach I feel that that's the way I'm gonna be able to quit social media create YouTube also um, perhaps the intention shouldn't be to quit but to use in a healthy way and I'm going a little bit all over the place with this video but I'm just sharing my my experience and my how I felt about quitting social media when in the end I actually didn't end up quitting it I feel like I'm sharing in YouTube and I'll keep on posting YouTube and trying to stay up to date and perhaps I didn't grow as much as I wanted but I'm still growing I'm still having fun I'm still doing it and I'm still posting and perhaps instead of being more of a consumer I need to be more of a creator so if that's what it takes for me to stop being an addict on YouTube which I actually don't consider myself an addict on YouTube, but that's a side story. Um, then, yeah, let be it. Let's uh, post more raw content, more raw stuff of me talking to a camera, sitting in a cool place and sharing my experience and my thoughts. Um, so yeah, it's been two years since I don't have Instagram. I downloaded it again. Feels like weird feeling but I'm actually not watching anything I'm not consuming I'm just posting and I think reacting to stuff such that they don't think I'm just a robot or anything like that and it's not that I'm following anyone because I want to stay up to date so I do have to say that on that aspect I'm using my phone less I'm only using it on the computer, YouTube and Instagram and everything and I'm actually there to post opposed to YouTube where I'm actually perhaps on a Sunday evening here to consume and watch a video of like a place where I'm gonna visit I find it more useful and more searchable and it was not until actually this week that I saw a video of a guy that quit social media and also became addicted and I realized like, wait a minute, how many hours am I actually watching YouTube? And apparently you can do that, you can go into your phone, the app, and then you can search. And I'm gonna do it right now, because today I realized that 11 hours and 50 minutes in the last 7 days. Okay, yeah, there's 5 hours of me listening to music, <laughs> like a live set of uh, Coachella from last year and from boiler room and then yeah that counts apparently so if i take that out that that's like five hours my daily average is one hour a day that's seven hours a week yeah if i'm gonna do some quick months in two years seven hours that's like a full-time job seven hours times 364 times 
two, because that's two years. Divided 24. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> I just spent 212 days watching YouTube. Perhaps not everything, because I listen to a lot of sets, but let's say it's 150. 150 days is half a year, and that's a lot of time behind my computer watching and and listening to people share their life experiences. So yeah, I guess uh, perhaps now I'm gonna start quitting YouTube and not watching it and restricting myself to one hour a week. Let's see how that goes. I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated. But yeah, this video was a little bit all over the place, but I think it was just to share that an update after two years that I realized that Perhaps I said I'd quit social media, but in the end I actually didn't and I became addicted to YouTube instead because it is an addiction, even though I don't consider myself an addict, but that's a different story.